Hey guys, and welcome to another Spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thanks for joining me. Today we are going to go over the Black Market Spotlight. And uh, this guy's been out for four days or so, and, and it's really cool. It's actually very, very similar to the Galactic Trade mod that was out quite a long time that time ago that I did a spotlight on, but that mod is um, very outdated at this point, but but this one is is inspired by that. So essentially what this lets you do is buy and sell on a, a virtual market, uh, buy and sell items, I guess I should say. And, and one really quick note before we actually get into it, is someone did request that I do the, uh, I think it's like the recycling machine mod, uh, and I definitely plan to do that. That's going to be reserved for next week. Um, if the dev of that is watching, I just want to let you know. I didn't forget uh, next week. But this one, uh, I really wanted to cover. So, th there's quite a bit to this. But once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. So, once you install the mod, you get these two new icons up here. Both of which are clickable. Um, this one here is your, your money, essentially. And... Right now I have zero. Obviously I loaded into a new game. You don't get any to start with, but you have these credits and you can click on this and this will actually show you all the items in the game and if you mouse over it, it'll show you their value. Uh, now this value is both for selling and buying. Okay, so you uh, an item sells for the same amount that you can buy it for and that seems pretty fair. Uh, you can actually, you can make a profit, obviously, by, like, if you buy, like, iron ore, which is 19, um, and you then turn it into iron plates, like, smelt it, you can sell those for 98. Um, so this will show you the price of everything in the, ga uh, in the game when you mouse over it. Now, you can also tell this, if you have an item in your hand, you can see this is the price as well. Um, that button, that, that thing that normally shows your your current balance will show the price or value of whatever you have in your hand. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this to daytime so we can actually see what's going on here. And we have this other button up here. And this shows quite a bit of stuff, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. And there's a very detailed long description on the forum post for this mod um, by the dev, which I'll link to as well as the mod portal. Uh, I'm not going to read everything off here because it is quite a lot, but um, they they explain pretty much everything, so it's pretty easy to get a hang of. But essentially, this is the config menu for everything globally. Okay, so you have your your chest. This is how you buy and sell stuff. You have your buy chest and your sell chest. And uh, ignore the fact that I can make infinite everything. I enabled cheat mode with a command, um, but. Uh, they're pretty cheap to make, and there is research to unlock them, I believe, if I can find it. Here we go. Uh, it's just red science, so you can get it pretty early. But uh, but yeah, so you have your buy chest and your sell chest. Now, each one of these chests has its own individual GUI. If I click this, you can see it opens its own, all right? Now, I'll go over that in a second, but first I want to go over this global menu, okay? And what this does... Um, this allows you to pretty much change everything for all the chests, um, whereas each individual chest you can configure individually with, with its own menu, but this will override that um, depending what you change. So um, first of all, we have show prices, which just brings up the menu we were just in over here. Um, you can actually export this as a CSV spreadsheet, which is really cool. Um, and these have descriptions over each button, which is really nice. Uh, rescan prices for all items and recipes. Uh, this is for like, this is important if you have this mod already installed and then you install another mod that adds items to the game, like, you know, whatever it is, like Bob's mods or, or one of those types of things, um, you will need to use this rescan button to actually get the prices and stuff for those, um, otherwise it won't recognize them. Um, if you pause this, this will pause all automatic transactions. So when you go and set a chest, which I'll show you in a second, you can tell it to automatically buy stuff or automatically sell stuff. Um, Telling this to pause will pretty much just stop all that globally. Um, and then you can enable automatic on all chests and disable it on all chests. Um, you can sell everything you have in all your sell chests now, uh, but there is an increased tax for that. Um, it's actually a 25% tax um, if you sell things like on the spot rather than having it done automatically. So, you know, if you need something right away, you'll have to pay extra for it. 
and uh, same with buying everything. So there's that. Now here, this is your default period. This is um, how often the automatic transactions will happen. And again, you can set it globally with this. Um, currently, it's one hour. Now you have the option of it being one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, 12 hours, or every 24 hours. So um, the higher the frequency, so the more often you have it by, the higher the tax is going to be. You see it's 20%, two hours is 14. Um, you can just see it decreasing there, the tax. Um, and the tax is only 4% if you sell every 24 hours, okay? Now, another quick note for this is um, it says here that the uh, the day actually, for this mod, the day actually resets at noon at 12 o'clock, um, not midnight. So if you're selling once a day every 24 hours, um, sales will occur around 12, um, which is what we're, we are now, instead of midnight. Okay, and this just shows you, again, there's tool tips over all of them, so I'm not going to say every single thing, but um, this is pretty much just your credits, sales of all chests, sales taxes from all chests, purchases, purchase tax, average tax rate, credits of the last day, so on and so forth. So there's that menu. Okay, so how do these chests work? Well, let's start with our selling chests. We can't buy anything yet anyway because we have zero credits. And if you do have zero credits, it won't even recognize a buy order. Like you can set it, but it won't even, it, it just won't do anything. I mean, you have no money. You can't go into the negatives. Um, so if you don't have enough, it just won't work. Um, and something else to keep in mind is that that does take into account the tax, right? So even say, um, even if you had enough money to buy, say, just like 200 of these, um, if I just got rid of all this, if you had enough money to buy 200 of these, um, you have to take into account the tax as well that this is going to want to do for that. So the the price here is not counting the tax, okay? You can see their list without taxes. So even if you had 2800 if it doesn't work, um, it's more than likely because you obviously have to take into whatever tax you're paying as well. Okay, so you go into here, and what you do, um, you can set it to automatic, and this, again, automatic, and then each chest allows you to um, configure how often you do it. So I can have this one be two hours, I could have another one be 24 hours, so on and so forth. Um, evaluate. Um, this will evaluate the chest's current content, um, which for buying chests I don't think is that relevant because you don't actually put items in it, um, more like it puts items in itself and then you take them out. Um, you know, again, this shows you all this information. Resetting this um, will like reset this information and uh, money, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you can wipe all your orders, which will do that, and a new order. So what you do is you do that, and it will, you know, bring it up. You can click on this to change what it is. Say we want to buy, uh, let's buy some iron ore, and uh, let's just buy 100 of it. Um, obviously, we have no credit, so let me actually change that. Uh, let's just say, for example, we needed some oil. Like, like, this is me. I would need oil. I would do this. So, um, 941,900,000 000 credits. Uh, and that's not counting taxes, by the way. Now, I don't want this to happen right now. Let's say I want this to happen once every 24 hours. And we'll, we'll turn on the game speed here in a second. Your cell chest is very similar, um, and I did forget to check the automatic button. Your sell chest is very similar. Um, there's no orders, of course. You actually need to put in the items that you're going to sell, right? Um, and then this is when you would like evaluate it. So let's just say we uh, let's just say we smelted up a massive amount of iron plates, right? And it's not showing ag anything again. That's because we need to evaluate it. You can see there's 79,000 credits in here. Nowhere near enough to buy what we want. And another note is that this won't. Uh, to my knowledge, from my tests and from reading this, this won't buy, um, like, partial orders. So even though I have, you know, maybe like a fourth or whatever of what I need, it won't buy a fourth of the order I have. It just won't, it, it won't order it, right? I have to have enough for the actual full order, right? Um, so that's not enough. Let's see how much science packs are worth, right? Let's just say we overproduce some science packs. Like, this is when this mod is really nice. Um, if you're overproducing stuff, you can sell it, and then if there's stuff you really need, like oil, um, you can then buy it, right? So if we evaluate this, 
Okay, see, so science packs, you know, they're worth they're worth quite a bit. Let's uh, let's uh, do that. Okay, so we would have enough at this point, point. and uh, we do want an automatic. Uh, now there is a twenty percent tax. We don't want that. We want this every twenty four hours as well. Uh, let's do twelve hours. Uh, and then there we go. So we have all this stuff in here. Now twelve hours from now would be uh, midnight. So if we turn on the cycle, and uh, and we speed up time a bit here. I think, yeah. Once we hit uh, 24, it should be, um, we're going to... Oh, we actually sold stuff, right, because it uh, it just did it right then. I see, I think. Um, okay, so we have that. We now have credits. Is this 50? Wasn't that like 500 and something credits? I think it's cut off. Or not? Oh, no, and then we bought the stuff. Okay, yeah, sorry. I didn't have my advanced info turned on. So I bought what we needed, and there's um, extra credits. We now have all these oil barrels, and this this order will stay in here, right? So keep that in mind. Um, it's going to try to do this again. Obviously, you don't have enough, so it won't buy it. Um, but you do need to make sure that you don't, like, infinitely buy stuff that you may not need anymore. Uh, so you do need to monitor these. And uh, there you go. So, you know, you can just grab them, or you can take an inserter, export them, and, uh, you know, then unbarrel them. And it says down here, um, I'm looking at some stuff, the to-do list, they do plan to add the ability to um, have a trading tank, like trading tanks, as in liquid storage tanks. You can actually do it directly with that and do other liquids. Um, oh, wow, cool. You can, uh, a to-do is to create trading accumulators to sell and buy electricity. That would be really cool, actually. And... Uh, I'm just looking through all the uh, notes here and make sure I didn't miss anything. But that's pretty much it, guys. So you can pretty much you can sell items, buy items. Uh, really nice. I'm a fan of this. Some people won't be. Some people, which is fine. I can understand that completely. Um, but for me personally, you know, and anyone else who likes this, I think the idea is brilliant, and it's a very nice remake, kind of, of the Galactic Trade mod. The GUI is very well done. Very nice tool tips. Um, I'm really impressed with the fact that they even made it so you can export this. And and there you go. I believe that that's it. That really covers it. Uh, if you want, I would recommend going to the forum page, again, which will be linked in the description, um, to actually read through all the notes yourself and uh, just to get a better idea. But I believe that is it. And yeah, that, uh, that looks like it's it. So... Shows your credits here. Again, you can open your menu here, see how much stuff is worth. I'm not sure if the prices fluctuate. Um, I don't recall reading anything about that. Okay, here we go. Um, prices of each item is determined using recipes, prices of ingredients, um, amateurization of technology, cost of energy, and commercial margin. Basic resources value is 100 credits. There's a button to export list of prices to the script output directory in a CSV file, as we saw. Um, and another note, remember that the price of an item is always greater than the sum of the prices of, an, of its ingredients, right? So the, an item is worth more than the ingredients uh, total worth that it took to make it. Um, and that's how you can make a profit doing this. And... There's, um, it says you can withdraw some cash from your account by buying, um, the credit Ucoin, which is what these are, um, items. There's no fee on such a purchase, and we'll get Ucoin items in return in the chest. You can use these Ucoin items to give money to a player from another force. Okay, yeah, so, uh, if we find them, here we go. So you can actually buy these, right? And you can withdraw them. It's a one to one transaction. So, um, I could put in an order for these so like oh that's the main thing sorry i can put in an order uh for these things and i can just withdraw however much that i want to withdraw and then this way you can actually in a multiplayer game like give money to another player uh like another force or something although if you're in multiplayer and on the same team i don't know exactly why you would do that maybe it's separate for each person i don't know but uh there you go guys I believe that covers it all. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down in the comments. 
and I definitely recommend checking this out if you like the idea. It's a very well done mod and the dev seems to have some awesome ideas uh, for the future. But until then, I look forward to seeing you all next time and do take care.